What job? Yeah. Tight belly. It's lovely to see Rhonda getting after it with these deadlifts, but there is a high chance that a lot of people are going to emulate her technique. So let's clean it up a little bit so that she can lift even heavier and do it a little bit safer. Rhonda is making a very common but a very big mistake, which is that she's not pulling the slack out of the barbell before she lifts the bar. See, there is a little bit of space between the barbell and the plate. Can you hear that sound? Click, click, click. When I'm lifting, I'm now pulling the slack out of the barbell. So she's going straight from having zero tension between the barbell and her body to ha to carrying the entire weight of the barbell. Ah! It's almost like she's trying to surprise the barbell and I think the sound effects are really helping. I was really surprised when I was watching that video. The problem is that this is not the most effective way to move an external object. For example, if you go from having zero tension on the rope to pulling, it's not a very effective way to move this dog toy. But on the other hand, when I pre-tension the rope and then pull, it is very easy to move the dog toy. The same principle applies to the deadlift. When you make your arms long and you shift the weight back slightly, you should hear click. You have now pulled the slack out of the barbell. Then you're simply going to be pushing the ground away with your legs to stand up. So you gotta stop thinking about pulling the weight off the ground and instead you need to start thinking about pushing the ground away. 